In today's video, I'll spend another 100 days in Red Dead Online. The rules for the 100 days is very simple. No money, XP, or gold glitches or exploits are allowed at all, which is, you know, pretty obvious. And my goals for the next 100 days is to get myself to rank level 150. My second goal is to unlock the prestigious bounty hunter license, as well as the naturalist role. And the third and final goal is to get absolutely every role in the game max level. And with all that being said, let's spend another 100 days in Red Dead Online. I started day 101 by purchasing the prestigious bounty hunter license. There was like a special deal going on where it was only five gold bars. So I made sure I got that right away. It was just a limited time deal and I thought I'd take advantage of that. But to be honest, for the first couple days, it was not very interesting. It was mainly just me getting collector's items because for the time of me recording this, there was double payout if you turned in a set, which is a huge amount of money. And uh, at the end of the 100 days, I was pretty much broke. So I was just trying to get my money back and getting collector items would be the best way to do that. On day 103, I crashed the whip. I was trying to do some hunting or whatever. And uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. But anyways, I got back to some hunting. I was luckily able to find a perfect cougar carcass. I killed it and put it in the back of my hunting wagon. And I did turn in a set of collector items, which would just give me a little bit of money. After that, I did start up a bootlegger mission just to lower the mash levels a little bit. It was pretty easy. Just burn the cornfields. I've done this a thousand times pretty much. It's super easy. And I also just started dancing for a challenge. It was very easy. It's probably one of the easiest challenges you can get. Uh, so that's easy gold as well as roll XP. And right after that, I started up my production on the moonshine. On day 104, I started up a resupply mission. This one was quite easy. All I had to do was hunt down a turkey, turn it into another trader, and just like that, I get the supplies and bring it back to camp. And I also did some miscellaneous things, like doing a bootlegger mission. On day 105, I got myself a bunch of collector items. I pretty much spent the entire day doing this, but by the end of the day, I was able to turn in four sets. So that was definitely worth it. And it got me up to $2,000 after that. On 106, I had a very easy daily challenge. This was literally just to eat five things of canned food. Uh, so that was very, very easy, of course. And I started up another resupply mission. It was super easy. Just take out a bunch of enemies, steal the chemical wagon, and bring it back to camp, which starts up the production again. After that, I started up a new legendary bounty. If you unlock the prestigious bounty hunter license, you're able to do a few more legendary bounties. And the first one that I tried was this weird guy where you have to track down a cult member. In a way, it's similar to the Wolfman, where you have to look at different locations. But for this one, you actually have to loot the cultist member members to see where he's at and eventually i found him down in a cave i don't know if he's always in the cave or whatever but this is just where i found him and for this guy you have to knock his armor down a bit so you actually just have to shoot him a bunch obviously you don't want to shoot him too much because otherwise he'll die uh but shoot him enough where his armor breaks then you're able to hog tie him up and just like that i was able to turn him in and that was a pretty easy bounty done after that i went to a hideout and that was very easy to clear out and literally just as i left it then spawned as a bootlegger mission and i eventually just took out all the enemies but i got very lucky by looting this one guy and he had a treasure map on him which is very rare but that's obviously nice because you get a decent amount of gold out of it and for the rest of the day i got some collectibles and as i got the treasure i got turned into a ufo by modders uh so that was interesting i guess and on day 108 i delivered my moonshine which was very easy it's simple cash and right after that i got to level 18 in my moonshine roll so i was getting close to the max level for moonshine and i was also focused on collectibles so I went all around the map trying to collect stuff. And I was eventually able to turn it all into the post office where I was able to sell myself three sets, which got me a ton of money. Now, obviously I have a crazy amount of money right now, but there was something I actually did want to spend it on. It wasn't just there to be there. I made my way to the camp where I bought a bunch of things. Some of them were just cosmetic, but some of them actually did help me. The first thing I bought was this Crips outfit, just like the trader outfit. I also bought a dog. This was to make up for the dog that I killed in the last one. Uh, a lot of you guys were mad at that. I don't really care. I'm honestly, you're lucky I didn't make a montage of me finding every dog, but I didn't. So, it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, but anyways, I named it Legit. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to spell it with the J, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And I also got myself the trader theme, the deluxe campfire, and the weapons locker so I could store all the guns that I don't want. And just like that, I fully maxed out my camp to the best it could possibly be. And I also made my way to the gunsmith just to get some upgrades for my guns to make them a little bit stronger with a little more range. And of course, I always got to go down to zero dollars. So I bought two Mauser pistols. These are the most expensive pistols in the game, and they're not really good for NPCs and stuff like that, PvE, but they're insanely overpowered for PvP. And although PvP is kind of rare for me, it would just be nice to have. Right after that, I started up a resupply mission it was very easy to get the supplies but while i was doing it i got shot by some random guy uh, it was pretty easy to take him out with the lancaster but it's just a minor inconvenience uh, but it was fine i was eventually able to bring it back to camp and get the resupply mission done on day 110 i turned in some animal carcasses to get my materials up and i also started up another legendary bounty this is another one you're able to do if you have the prestigious bounty hunter license and this one's pretty fun it's not super difficult at all all you gotta do is go to one spot and he's always at this one spot kill all the guards hog tie him up and turn him in after 30 minutes after that i just did some random things like playing the banjo doing a moon shot a roadblock and turning in some carcasses to crypts and also did another resupply mission i know it's not very interesting but just take out the enemies grab the supplies and bring it back to camp and also did more collecting and on day 114 i turned in my moonshine batch which i was now on level 19 so i was literally one away from max level and i also turned in all the sets that i had and i got a ton of money out of it and also my goods were finally done so i eventually delivered them to annisburg and obviously you get a ton of money out of that i just did the short delivery so i got 500 and i also got to level 15 on the trader roll and at the very end of the day i also went to the fence where i purchased a pamphlet and this would allow me to carry twice the 
amount of shotgun shells. So instead of 60, I'd be carrying 120, which is just super nice. On day 115, I started up a resupply mission. Well, obviously, this is not fun at all. It's just doing the exact same thing over and over, but it's definitely helping me level up the trader role. And I also started up the Edda Doyle bounty. I got a couple comments in the last video where if you just sit in this ramp for a couple minutes and you wait until she says some sort of voice line, she'll start running away and you're easily able to tackle her and then hog tie her up with nobody shooting at you. You might get a couple stray bullets or whatever, uh, but it's literally so easy. You don't have to fight off anybody. You just have to hog tie her up and bring her to the police station, which is super cool. So thank you for that advice in the last video. And I did start up another bounty right after this. This was a very easy bounty, but the thing that's great about me doing the bounties right now is A, I obviously level up the bounty hunter role, which I need to get to level 30, but also bounty hunter role is the only one that'll give you gold. And that's what I'm going to need to get the naturalist role. So it's pretty much two birds with one stone. And right when the legendary bounties were available, I did the exact same thing that I just did. Hog tied her up with no problem and waited for the 30 minutes. I also did a bootlegger mission and started on my production of moonshine once again. And also did some trader stuff. Once again, it's not very interesting, but I'm really just trying to get my gold up so I could finally explore a new role. Um, and yes, once again, I did the edit Doyle mission again. I do get kind of sick of doing these missions because you don't even really do anything. You just kind of wait most of the time, uh, but it does give you a lot of money and gold. So it is worth it. And I also sold off a bunch of plants to the doctor because that is also a way to get a bunch of gold if you keep resetting the award. And I also got another comment. I don't know where this comment was, but I only got, I think one comment about this. If you shoot the deputy in the knee on the Yukon Nick bounty, you don't injure the bounty and the deputy stays alive. I didn't know about this tip at all, but it makes it a lot easier. And then just like that, I turned him in. On day 121, my moonshine was done and I was easily able to deliver it. Usually there's no problems with it. And for pretty much all of day 122, I spent the time getting collector items and I eventually turned him into Madame Dazar where I got myself the Bill Williamson outfit. I don't really know why. Uh, it, it is kind of a cool outfit, but I really don't know why I got this. Uh, but that is just something I did. On day 123, I got myself some more collector items and also just did some challenges like dancing inside the moonshine shack and also doing a resupply mission where I stole the chemical wagon and brought it back to Crips. On day 124, I got some more collector items and I was trying to play the banjo and I got hit somehow and uh, i was pretty much playing nothing but uh you know it still worked for the challenge it was just a little weird and for the rest of the day i got collector items and this would go into the next day just trying to find whatever i could for collector items and i also opened up a treasure chest which is obviously very good gold and i was slowly but surely getting close to that 25 that i was going to need to get the naturalist roll and i also did a couple other things i did a resupply mission and also turned in my sets for the collector roll on day 126 i turned in carcasses to crypts and this was the majority of the day just getting my materials up and eventually i was able to sell off my goods which is obviously super easy just park the goods take off the spare enemies and then get paid and i also did do a moonshine delivery which obviously nothing special about that it's all pretty much the same and another thing i did was just buy a bunch of items i know it sounds kind of random but there is a reward to do that and if you just keep resetting it obviously you get gold from it so that'll slowly but surely get me there on day 127 i started up the edit doyle bounty and this was the exact same thing sit in the ramp wait a little bit hog tie her up wait at the police station for around 30 minutes and turn her in on day 128 i started up a bootlegger mission where i snuck past the guards and poisoned the moonshine still which is obviously just an easier way to do it it's a lot faster than taking all the enemies and after that i started my mash for the moonshine and for the rest of the day as well as going into the next day i was just getting collector items and by the end of day 29 i turned in my collector sets on day 30 i delivered my moonshine which is obviously very easy there's really nothing to say about that and i also started up another resupply mission these ones are pretty easy take out the enemies take the supplies and bring back to camp and there's also one last thing i did i went to madame nazar and just purchased a bunch of plants yes i still haven't maxed this out yet so i sold all of them to the doctor and i finally got myself to level 10 which got me to almost 23 gold bars and right after that i was able to get a treasure map and this one took a long time it took me about 10 minutes to even find this but eventually i got it and of course it got me so close so on day 131 i did another bounty to see if i can get to 25 gold bars from this and after turning them in i was literally 0 0.02 away from getting 25 so that kind of sucked the only thing that was good is i got to level 26 on the bounty hunter roll so that was nice and i also did have a spare treasure map i didn't know about so this is what got me over the 25 gold bars that i needed and i went to one of harriet's tents where i purchased the naturalist roll now this roll is not very interesting to be honest she'll give you these bullets to knock out animals and you just sample their blood i guess i don't really know what you're sampling and then you just sell it to her it's that that's pretty much the whole role it's very boring you just shoot animals you knock them out and then you collect their samples and it's very slow to level up this role as well so not only is it boring it just takes forever so it's not very fun the main reason why i even wanted this was because of the legendary animal missions you could do which would help my trader role a lot i did another resupply mission so you know nothing fancy there just took out the guards and collected the supplies and i also did a poachers mission and this is for the naturalist role you just take out the poachers and that's literally the mission it's kind of similar to the roadblocks you have to do for the moonshine role 
roll. Not roll blocks, but like road blocks. You know what I'm talking about. So it's pretty similar to most missions in the game. Just pretty much take out a bunch of enemies. On day 133, I made my way to Emerald Ranch, which is one of the best ways to get samples. You just take out the farmland animals and the people all around the farm will freak out, but you don't get a wanda level for this. So that's what's so good about it because there's so many animals that spawn in one spot and they pretty much don't run away. So you get a bunch of samples and you also don't get a wanted level. So it's really good for leveling up. I eventually sold my samples to Harriet and this was going to take a very long time to get this thing leveled up. So I just kept knocking out even more animals and I eventually found myself a legendary animal. These are pretty rare to find just out in free roam, uh, but I found this legendary fox and you can turn these animals into crypts, but I decided just to knock it out because to be honest, I really just want to level up this role. And once I get level five, I can pretty much farm legendary animals. So that made the most sense for me to do that. And yeah, this role just takes so much time. I wasn't even on level three yet. And I did the exact same thing the next day, just knocking out as many animals as I can on horseback. Uh, and I also did turn in some sets for collector role, which was pretty nice. I got a ton of money now. So I was really stacked. Um, obviously that's not going to last because I spend money way too quickly, but it was nice to have at least some for right now. And yeah, I just got to work knocking out animals, selling off the samples and pretty much just repeating the process, making my way back to Emerald Ranch. And after all that, I was still only on level three. I just can't do it. I can't. Man. Anyways, there's also a pretty good spot to get samples, which is in the swamp where you're able to get yourself alligator samples as well as snapping turtle samples. On day 136, I did a little bit of hunting, just trying to get my trader roll up a bit. And that was really about it. I actually did hunt the farm animals, which I didn't get a wanted level from, but I just wanted some mutton or whatever. So that's why I did that. On day 137, I delivered my moonshine. And right after I delivered it, I got pretty lucky and found a legendary alligator, uh, which I decided to kill this one. And after skinning the alligator, I actually put it in my hunting wagon. And this would obviously keep the skin stored. And I also did another resupply mission which is obviously not very interesting. You are supposed to beat these guys up, uh, but I decided just to shoot them because that would be a lot easier. Yes, you get dishonored from this, uh, but I, I don't really care. So yeah, I eventually brought it back to Crips and yeah, just continue to grind out this naturalist roll. So the rest of the day was, well, you already guessed, it wasn't very interesting. Just go to Emerald Ranch, shoot a bunch of sheep and uh, that's about it. On day 138, I was finally able to do a legendary animal mission. And for this one, it spawns you in a certain location and puts you in a private lobby and everything. And you'll have to either free the animal, look for tracks to find the animal or something like that. And it was very easy. Just look around the area for a bit, analyze the clue, and eventually I found the legendary moose where I eventually sedated it and just like that the mission was done And uh, yeah for the rest of the day it was not very fun It was just me sedating random animals and that was about it I went all around the heartlands took down a bunch of animals and just started shooting random animals at Emerald Ranch. Uh, but I also got the Wilderness Camp, which is not super useful right now. But once I get the fast travel perk, it'll be super nice. And from the rest of the day, today 40 was a lot of the same. So a lot of these days are just nothing for the most part, or it's very repetitive. So yeah, I just started knocking out animals and also did another legendary animal mission. And I was trying to track down this animal and I saw a random ram go by and I was like, okay, I might as well grab this as another sample. And as I did that, the buck got away. And then I don't even know what happened here. I got teleported into the tree. Uh, so yeah, that's what I got to remember for next time is just always go for the legendary animal. Don't worry about anything else. On day 141, I went back to Emerald Ranch, just shooting random cows and stuff like that. And I sold off all the samples to Harriet. And I also started up this legendary bear mission. And this was quite the track down mission. This took me quite a while, but eventually I was able to find the bear. And uh, yeah, I just got instantly tackled by the bear. Uh, so yeah, and this would happen again way later down the line. I'd get tackled by this bear. Uh, but anyways, I found the bear. It was up on the cliff. And eventually I was able to take him down. And the reason why I wanted to kill this guy is so I could bring him to Gus. So I didn't bring this one to Crips at all. I brought it to this guy, Gus McMillan. I already talked about him a little bit earlier. It'll just make me a custom set of clothes with the animal parts that I got from the legendary animals. And you get this yellow bear coat and hood and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Later down the line, I wouldn't really like it as much, uh, but it's definitely not bad. And for the rest of the day, I did another resupply mission. Just picked up the supplies, made my way through the mountains back to the camp. And yeah, I delivered that to Crips. And also made my way back to Amberino, where I collected a bunch of fossils, which is obviously one of the best ways to get collector items since there's so many fossils in one area. And on day 142, I finally had enough goods to deliver. And obviously this is very easy. I dropped off the supplies, took out the enemies surrounding it. And just like that, I was paid. And I was now up to level 19 on the trader roll. So I was now only one away. And I also started up my moonshine production again. Obviously this makes sense. I mean, it's just free money. <laughs> it's super nice to get this passive money like this in the moonshine roll. And also after that, I went to the general store and I wanted to get some drip. You know, I want to get something going. I got this. This so stupid. The drip, uh, whatever. Anyways. Yeah, I got this all white outfit. I think this looks pretty good. I named it the Colonel. I know it's stupid, but whatever. And yeah, I've been rocking with this outfit for quite a while. On day 143, I started up the Edda Doyle bounty. And I once again use the ramp method. Just sit down there, wait until the certain voice line where she starts running out. Obviously, hog tie her up. And just like that, it's so easy. I waited out the 30 minutes and I eventually turned her in, but this bounty took up most of the day. On day 144, I just went back to Emerald Ranch where I took out a bunch of sheep. And if you guys are even curious on how I know about this Emerald Ranch spot and how it's so good, uh, I looked up my old video and this video is absolutely horrible. Alrighty, so here we are at Emerald Ranch. Uh, this spot has- You don't want to be like this. Cows, this is disgusting. Uh, goats, this sheep, is awful everything. in every way. If I could kill it, 
I would. Anyways, that video has to stay in the archives, but I did eventually drop off my moonshine. And for the rest of the day, I was just collecting samples near the Heartlands. And that was about it. On day 145, I tried to do some fishing. I saw a couple guys fishing, and I thought I might as well join in. But for some reason, I couldn't catch anything. I even tried to get new bait, and that didn't work either. I couldn't get a single fish on the hook. Uh, so I don't know if my game's bugged, or I just am doing it completely wrong. But yeah, I couldn't even catch a single fish. But anyways, I made my way to Amberino, collected more fossils. And on day 146, I found a moose, which might not be that interesting. It's not a legendary moose, it's just a normal moose. But these things are pretty rare. I haven't found that many of them. And I eventually knocked it out and collected the sample. But yeah, you just don't see a lot of moose on the map. And I also did another legendary animal mission. In this one, I had to find a legendary alligator. And I decided to kill the alligator and put its skin in the back of the hunting wagon. Right after that, I made my way to the fence, where I finally bought the wilderness travel pamphlet. And this would allow me to fast travel from my wilderness camp, which is super nice. And it makes getting around the map super convenient. And also right after that, I started up a bounty, where I made my way to the sand and eat graveyard after running this dude over. Uh, but eventually, I did find him. And it was one of those track down missions, so they're not very interesting. But I did eventually find him, hogtie him up, and brought him into the police station. And right after that, I did the same thing. Just another bounty. Got the two targets into the bounty wagon and turned him into Annisburg. On day 147, I did the Ed Doyle bounty. Obviously not interesting once again. I uh, just sat on the ramp, waited outside for around 30 minutes, and then turned her in, which got me to level 28 in the bounty hunter roll. And I also got the six gold bars, which meant I could get all silver on my shotgun. Now, I don't know about you, but I really like the silver, and I think it looks better than the gold, in my opinion. So I would try to get every one of my guns silver, uh, except for the revolvers, because they don't really need it. They're already pretty much silver. This would be one of the reasons why I want to get gold, just so I can make my guns look better. On day 148, I did the exact same thing. I started up the Ed Doyle bounty, and the reason why I was just doing this is because I was getting so close to getting level 30, so I thought I might as well grind for that. And I also did some other normal bounties, so nothing super interesting there. And that would go into the next day. For all of day 149, it was literally just me doing bounties, and it wasn't any legendary bounties, it was just normal bounties. And yeah, that was pretty much it for day 149. On day 150, I got myself some more fossils, and I eventually brought them to Madame Nazar, where I sold off the set. On day 151, I started up another bounty, and I was getting so close to getting this done so i thought i might as well finish this roll off just did a normal bounty i eventually captured him up turned him into the tumbleweed sheriff and i also got this holster and belt which is really cool it's part of the bounty hunter roll and i went with the all silver one i really like this holster so i replaced this with my old one and finally with one more bounty i captured him up it was one of the tracking bounties so i didn't have to fight anybody and after turning him in i finally got myself to level 30 and i also got a free gold bar out of that so that was definitely nice but that was another roll to max and the trader roll is going to be next on day 152 i started up a legendary moose mission and this was in tall trees where i eventually shot him and put it in the back of my wagon. I then gave it all to Crips and I also started up a resupply mission. And for this one, I had to hunt an elk and turn its pelt into one of the traders. And just like that, I got the supplies needed, brought it back to Crips, and I finally got to level 20 on the trader roll, which is max level for the trader roll. And just like that, there was another one down. The only one that was left was going to be the naturalist roll. So I was unfortunately going to have to put a bunch of time into that. Um, so, you know, that sucks. Uh, but at least it means I only got one left. And the exact same day, I did start up another legendary animal mission. And this guy, it took me around 15 minutes to find this single fox. Uh, but eventually, I did find it in San Denis of all places. So I went all the way across Le Moines. But I eventually got its sample. And I just started knocking out random things. You know, alligators, stuff like that. This is just the naturalist role. It's just pretty much boring the whole time. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. And I also started up the moonshine once again. I did kind of forget about this role. But I did have a delivery I could make. So I thought I might as well do that and get myself some free money. And right after that, I also opened up a treasure map. Got the reward from that. And and it had a decent amount of money as well as gold. And right after that, I just started dancing for a challenge. I've obviously brought up this challenge before. It's super easy. It also turned in a bunch of samples. I had a bunch of samples stored up as well as the legendary animal one. So I was just slowly but surely getting up there and trying to get this roll maxed out. And as an update on the naturalist roll, I was at level 12. So I was at least over halfway there. And I also cleared out a hideout. At least it was something different from knocking out animals. So yeah, cleared out the hideout. Very easy with the turret. And I went through the swamp just collecting more samples. And I started up a bounty, which might seem a bit odd because I just completed the bounty hunter roll. But the reason I did this is because I wanted to get gold. And I already told you about the silver guns that I wanted to get. So all next on my list was the Lancaster rifle. The only part I couldn't get though was the scope, which kind of completed the look, I guess. So I have to get another three gold bars. Uh, but I was happy with what I got for right now. And the guns just look so much better after you add silver. And for all of day 155, I spent the day getting collector items. And at the end of the day, I turned them all in. On day 156, I started by selling off samples and I started up a legendary panther mission. I wasn't sure if I was going to sample this one, but I thought I might as well turn this into crypts. So after dying not once, but twice, I was eventually able to take down the panther and I put the pelt on the back of my horse and I immediately went to Crips because that was my original plan, turning it into him and then getting the materials, whatever. But then I brought it to Gus and he has this really cool outfit. This one is way better than the bear outfit, at least in my opinion. So this is what I ended up buying. And I also got the elephant rifle. This might be a hit or miss in terms of taking out legendary animals, but in my opinion, I really like it. It does an insane amount of damage to him. You can probably take out most in around six or eight shots. After that, I did a bunch of random stuff, doing stuff for the naturalist roll, doing stuff for the trader roll, and also doing a moonshine delivery. And I also started up another legendary animal mission. At this point, there's not much of a cooldown because I'm such a high level. So I can pretty much start these back to back. And I eventually found the bison and I decided
decided to take this one out, even though I still have a little ways to go for the naturalist roll. But the reason I did this is so I could turn it into crypts because I was running quite low on materials. But for the rest of the day, I just knocked out a bunch of stuff. On day 158, I got this custom bandolier from Gus, and I think it looks pretty cool. It matches with my whole hunter, like Jaguar outfit. Uh, but anyways, I did a resupply mission, brought the oil back, and delivered it to crypts. And you guys can let me know what you think of this outfit. I think it's all right. Obviously, I'm sure it could be better. I could add different things to it or whatever. But I was personally a fan of this outfit. But anyways, once again, I did another legendary animal mission. I then eventually found the buck, knocked it out, and collected the sample. And just for fun, on day 159, I completed a couple of bounties. On day 160, I was knocking out animals. And I also had a trader delivery I could make, even though there's literally no supplies in the back. I mean, I still got the money for it. So that was all good, which obviously the trader roll gives you a nice money boost. And I also got some collector items at the end of the day. On day 161, I was knocking out animals, thinking I'm just going to turn them in. And I absolutely hate this. Like, it's so stupid. I, I, w I didn't even kill that many animals. Stop the cow. <laughs> You think that I wouldn't find out? You're no better than that savage McMillan. <laughs> But I was eventually able to return back and sell off my samples. On day 162, I was literally just trying to use the fast travel, but there was this bounty in the way. So I thought, you know, I might as well just complete this bounty. It was one of the free roam bounties. So all I had to do was take out the enemies, hogtie the bounty targets, and turn them in. Then while I was trying to knock out animals, I randomly just got shot by this one guy. And this dude did not get me once, even though he got the drop on me. I put this dude on the snapback. Um, he didn't kill me once. I don't know how that how that's even possible. But anyways, I turned it all my samples to Harriet, and I was just super locked in on the naturalist roll now. And I also started up the bison mission once again. And this one I had to free it and immediately killed it. This elephant rifle definitely comes in clutch when taking out the animals. And I sold that all to Crips, which I eventually got a lot of materials out of. And I also did a resupply mission for him. On day 164, I was just knocking out sheep. And I did this all the way until day 165. So there wasn't really much that happened. On day 166, I decided to buy myself the gold Turkmen. And I really like this horse. It was definitely a better backup than the red arabian i had this was the main reason why i even got it i do still like the breton a lot more but whenever my horse gets injured i do not want that red arabian so this is what i would go with as a backup from day 167 to 68 i spent the entire time getting collector items and at the end i sold them all which got me a absolute insane amount of money i had so many sets i could turn in so i was pretty much stacked at this point and also after that i was able to get another treasure map so i got the reward from that and i also went back to my moonshine shack where i delivered my moonshine badge and after that, I was just messing around in Saint Denis, where I came across, you know, I don't even know what this is. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Yeah, this dude was in a hot air balloon. This is what happens when you have models in the game. It's just, you, you don't know what you'll see if you go into anywhere that's populated, like Saint Denis, Blackwater, or especially Valentine. It's just all over the place. Uh, but anyways, with the money that I had from that collector set that I got, I did get myself the Bounty Hunter outfit. And this one's pretty cool. I went with the first style. I just think it looks the best. And after that, I sold off all the samples that I had. On day 170, I did some hunting, and that was really about it for the whole day. But the next day, I did start up another bounty, and this was an infamous bounty mission. And these are a little bit different from the normal ones. They're kind of like the normal bounties, but they also have like a cinematic sometimes. So it's kind of an in-between of the legendary bounties and the normal ones but they all have the same outline just take out as many enemies as you can and hogtie the bounty and bring them in but unfortunately while i was trying to do this he hopped on the horse and started shooting at me and then the cop shot him so yeah i had to turn him in dead but once i turned him in dead i literally lost honor even though i didn't even shoot him so yeah i was just stupid but it didn't really matter honor doesn't really matter at this point but it was just kind of funny and after that i started up another legendary mission for this one i had to track down the bison again i've gotten this bison so many times but eventually i sedated it collected the sample and i just went around collecting even more samples after that and the next day i would do the exact same thing just collecting myself some more samples i also did a moonshine delivery in between that uh, but it was mainly just me doing the same thing over and over and after selling off my samples i finally reached level 20 on the naturalist roll it took so long i'm never going to touch this roll again the only time i'll even do it technically the naturalist roll is if i'm trying to hunt down a legendary animal but there's no way i'm knocking out animals and stuff like that you get pretty much no money out of it the only time it actually makes sense is if i'm doing some sort of daily challenge but other than that i'm not touching this roll again right after that i started going around collecting things just random stuff here and there some more fossils in Amberino. It also just did a spare resupply mission. So there wasn't really anything of note, but I did turn my collector sets into the post office and I also opened up another treasure chest and I got the reward from that. On day 174, with all the money that I had, I bought a bunch of pamphlets from the fence. I bought the pamphlet for the tracking arrows and I bought pamphlets for my tonics, like health, stamina, and dead eye. And these are level three, which you can't buy, you have to craft them. So that's the reason why I got these pamphlets. And I also got myself dynamite arrows, which are really broken. They're literally just like the equivalent of like an RPG in this game. So they're super OP. And at the very end of the day, I started my moon time production again on day 175 i invited boone you might have seen him from a couple other videos and yeah it was a it was a rough start how do i join uh you should be able invites to... got him yeah i'm joining chat i know we're not doing this <laughs> God, bro.
Oh, I just shot you in the head six times. That's what, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but we're gonna. Oh, oh, ow. Dude, it's not. Bro, stop shooting. Oh my gosh. This is not GTA, bro. You just let people ba buy it. I know oh. we did not just do a drive by on a horse. <laughs> Every person I see is getting shot. Yeah, it was going to be a few unproductive days, but he was trying to get his horse figured out, his internet figured out, and his everything figured out. Uh, so I was just waiting around for about 40 minutes, and that was pretty much the whole day. But we did start up a legendary animal mission, and for this one, we had to track down the legendary bear. Um, And eventually, we found him in a cage. He's in here. We got to kill him. Ready? No, he's friendly. Look at him. All right, he's, he's friendly. You want to test that theory? Go ahead. Look at him. He's a classic American brown bear. He is friendly. They do not harm humans. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong too. I need we a get mate. a shot off. Oh, he's on you! I got him. You saved me. Let's go. North American brown bears don't attack unless they are provoked. <laughs> if I do hypothetically, of course, I press that. <laughs> After that, we started up another legendary bounty, and this is one I haven't done yet, so at least it's something new. And this one was actually pretty difficult. Yeah, she's shooting at me, but she can't hit me. Go up on him. Go up on her. She's on me. All right. Hold on, hold on. On the ground. Eventually, after hog tying her up, we did turn her into the strawberry sheriff, and we also made our way down to my moonshine shack. <laughs> Discard. <laughs> she's no fucking through another crowd. Taste, let me get a taste. <laughs> <laughs> all right hold on that was one of our pr prototype samples all right sounds good give me another we got an alcoholic Keep in the coming. building another <laughs> what are you doing to me boom oh <laughs> and that was literally the whole day just pretty much i was messing around and on day 177 i found this random homeless guy at my camp there's a homeless guy at our camp where right here get him down put him down <laughs> Hey, anymore. Anyways, after that, I changed out my outlaw outfit. This was the one from the end of the 100 days. The only thing I really did was change the hat and not give him the mask because I think it looks better without the mask. And that was about it. And for the rest of the day, today, 179, we were pretty much just messing around. And that was really about it. And on day 180, we started up the missions Boone had to do. So we have to kill him to get to you? Well, huh? I can't do it. Well. Don't make me go back. Well. Well, in that case. In that case. Shoot him and you. <laughs> this is like average woman experience with me. <laughs> oh, get on the bed. <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I just slammed her. Uh, anyways, after that mission, I just started doing random stuff like clearing out the hideouts. I got myself some collector items where I was eventually able to sell them all off which I got a decent amount of cash out of. And I got myself to level 155. And since I got that level, I got myself another treasure chest and got the reward from that. And we also did some other things like doing more Boone's missions. And uh, we also did another legendary bounty where it's the same deal, take out a bunch of enemies, hog tie them up and bring them to the sheriff. And I also got my Carcano rifle all silver. I had enough gold to do this. And it just looks so much better with all silver. And we ran into some people outside the gunsmith. Who just shot me? And this dude shot me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got the oh, I'm just that was on call for. You guys like that montage uh, or whatever that was? No. Uh, anyways, after that, we did a resupply mission. We brought it back to camp, and I, just, and I decided to drive my wagon all the way through the camp. All right, what's the, what's the call? God. 
<laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> Killed my whole horse. Oh my gosh, I actually did, Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> and for the rest of the day, we drove the wagons off the cliff to see if we could hit each other's horse. So that was interesting, I guess. And on the next day, we did a bounty. So maybe something a little more productive. And we also did the same legendary bounty once again, eventually turning them in. And I was trying to deliver my moonshine, which usually is never a problem, but I got shot by this one person. And right after that, I killed the person that killed me. But uh, it just kind of sucked that I lost all my moonshine. But I guess it is what it is. After that, I started up a legendary animal mission where I had to track down this legendary moose. And I eventually killed the moose. And I also did another resupply mission where I brought the supplies back to camp. And I was getting close to being able to do another delivery. And all the way from day 190 to 196, it was literally just me getting collectibles and just doing what I usually do. So there's nothing really of note. It's just a lot of the same. So I'm just going to skip over these days. But I did want to sell off everything. It was coming up on the 200 days. So I didn't feel like I want to keep collecting. So I just turned in absolutely everything. And while I was trying to do that, some random low level just started shooting at me. So I killed him and he started up a feud. And um, yeah, he got 5 and owed. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Uh, but eventually I was able to sell all my stuff off. And I ended with 6,000 which was a lot less than I thought, but that just goes to show how good turning in sets are. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't plan on, you know, collecting anything else, but it was better than nothing. I then took out a legendary animal and sold out all the crypts. I then went to New Austin where I took out a cougar and bringing its skin back to crypts. And I also did do another moonshine delivery. And yeah, I was just finishing up whatever else I could. And I also did a stranger mission, but it completely crashed my game. So I had to go all the way back in, which is, you know, I was dumb. But after that, I got in and did a resupply mission. And I also did this bounty again. It is quite a difficult bounty in my opinion, but eventually after enough time, I got it done. And right after turning her in, that would be the end of my 200 days in Red Dead Online. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm most likely not going to do a 300 days of this. There's pretty much nothing else left to do. They're not updating the game anymore. So the game for me is pretty much done. So I won't be making another one of these. And also thank you for the support of the first 100 days. It's almost at 700,000 views right now, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much for that. And the next video I do is not going to be 100 days. I said that last time, uh, but I didn't expect it to pop off like it did. But this time, the next one is going to be different from the 100 days completely. And it will be one of those longer videos. So stay tuned for that. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.